Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and yesterday I showed you guys how to get 4.0 GM on your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade back to 3.1.3 or really any firmware that's still supported by Apple. So as of now, this should work for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch 3rd generation and uh, the MC model of the iPod Touch 2nd generation, but don't quote me on that because I don't know if Apple has stopped uh, supporting firmware 3.1.3 if you're already on firmware 4.0. I don't know how they can tell that or whatnot, but uh, as of now, uh, today is the 9th of June. I do not think they have stopped supporting it for new boot ROM devices. So you can tell that I'm in 4.0 because my iPhone died. And if you guys remember from last year when they released the GM, if you plug in your iDevice, then it'll show like a goldish yellowish screen after it dies and you plug it in and you're waiting for it to charge back up. To do this, basically what you're going to have to have is uh, the firmware still supported by Apple, which is 3.1.3. .3. So in order to do this, just plug in your uh, iDevice, hold down the home and the power button, and continue holding them down. You're going to hold for three seconds after the screen goes off. And you're going to let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for about 10 to 20 seconds until you get a little pop-up in iTunes like I just did. And it said uh, iTunes has detected that your uh, phone is in recovery mode and it's actually in DFU mode, but this is how we're going to bypass some iTunes errors. And then just hold down Shift and click Restore if you're on a PC and if you're on a Mac, hold down Alt and click Restore. And then browse for the firmware. I'll have a list of all firmwares along with the download to them in uh, the more info of this video. So it's preparing my iPhone for restore as you can see and my iPhone screen was white. And everything's going good so far. So I'll let you know when something else has happened. Okay so now it says waiting for iPhone and it shows the little uh, Apple logo there along with the little progress bar. So I'll be back when it's made some progress. So now it's about halfway done and uh, it says verifying iPhone software so obviously it's going out to the Apple servers and seeing if it is a legit software and if it is also supported by Apple so we'll see what it says so now it just skipped past that uh, verifying stage meaning it was successful and now it says restoring iPhone firmware okay guys so I actually got a 1015 error on my uh, iPhone when I was restoring it. So in order to get out of this, you're going to have to be on a 32-bit operating system and unfortunately you can't uh, be on Windows 7. Pretty sure it works on Windows Vista, not 100% though, but you can just get a Windows XP uh, virtual machine. It's really easy to do. Just Google it. And in order to do that, you're going to have to have iRev on it. I will have a link to that in the description. And then just double click on it and then just click fix recovery mode loop and if you don't have libusb installed click uh, no I don't have libusb installed please tell me how to install it so uh, just click Windows XP or Windows Vista it doesn't really work on Windows 7 sorry guys even though it says there's a tutorial uh, Windows XP is just the best way to do it I mean I guess you can look at the tutorial if you really want to like it says right here but pretty sure it doesn't work so Sorry guys, I already have it installed though, so I'm going to click yes, I have it installed, and then I'm just going to click iPhone 3G, because I have an iPhone 3G. And my screen goes black, and it starts to reboot. So now if after that, it uh, gets stuck in a boot loop, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to run Red Snow. Sorry guys, there are just a bunch of steps that you have to do. Uh, it's just how it has to work. And in order to run Red Snow, you're going to have to have uh, the firmware 3.1.2 download for your device. And then just locate it. And then wait for Red Snow to process it. And then click Next. And then click Install Cydia. Next. And then it says only continue when your device is powered off. So just hold down the home and power when you're in the boot loop and then let go when the screen goes dark click next and then it says hold down the power button for five seconds then start holding the home button and continue holding both buttons for ten seconds 
then let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for 30 seconds. Now it goes away at about uh, 20 seconds left, this little screen that moves on to the next one, so it's okay to let go at that point. So by now it's fine to let go. Okay, so now it says uploading RAM disk, and basically that just means it's downloading the data to my iPhone. So I'll be back when it says it's finished and the rest of the process will take place on my device. So now it says the rest of this process takes place on your iDevice. So it says done. And then as you can see, it shows the little progress bar there. And I'll be back when it's... So now it just finished up and uh, it turned off and now it's rebooting. So I'll be back when it's rebooted. So it just rebooted right there. As This is ICU2 signing out. I hope this helped you guys.